What's going on everyone? Are you ready for vlog number three? I'm ready. Today we are going to talk a little bit more about how we keep our snakes, what we keep them in, what we feed them, how we feed them, stuff like that. And uh, we do have two snakes to unbox this morning. They're going to be here in about half an hour. So stay tuned and get ready. Well, it's almost time, but I've noticed I wear this hat way too much every video. Um, Amethyst said something about it, so I just got to change it up. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so we're going with American country. <laughs> but seriously, um, I do wear that hat all the freaking time. All right, yet again, and here we go. Here they are. Uh, as you can see, this box is a little bit bigger this time. Um, we got these off of Morph Market from Dead and Miles. Uh, really excited to see these girls. They are breeding size. I don't know the temperaments, so we'll see. Have some fun right here. Watch me get bit. Give me a like if you want me to, to get bit right now. <laughs> All right. So, I'm super excited right now. I can't wait. I, I'm actually by myself today. Amethyst is at school. She couldn't get off. Stuff. Oh, it scared me. <laughs> There's this mossy stuff. Whoa. I can't get them out. Ooh, here's one. And I'll bring her over here. too. They're good looking snakes. Man. Whew. Really exciting. Sorry pretty girls. They're probably pretty scared. Get this all off the counter. <laughs> Before I pull her out. Let's see what let's see what temps is. Oh, it's about 78 degrees. 79 degrees. Perfect temps. Yeah, buddy, look at this girl. She is absolutely stunning. Hey, baby. And here she is. This is a lovely, 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 beautiful snake. She is a butter enchi. Check her out. Gorgeous. So pretty. We're gonna do some close-ups once Amethyst gets home. We'll go put her away real fast. Oh my goodness, she's beautiful. Uh, let's check this one out. This one happens to be a pastel cinnamon, so a pewter. Uh, we got her because we really, 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 really want to make urban camos. And I know I seem super excited right now, and I apologize, but I am stoked. Um, we're gonna try to find a male for her and just like the Arabic camels, we'll see. I'm gonna pull her out, see how she's doing. Uh, all snakes, always a little bit nervous when you pull them out. After going traveling and all that good stuff. Look at her. She is a big girl. Calm down, baby. She is a big, beautiful girl. Check her out. Look at that. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. I'm finally off of school. I'm in the house. I have not seen the snakes yet and I have been freaking excited all day. It has been torture not being able to be a part of it, but I get to see him now. But I made sure not to see him until this moment. So, <laughs> oh, I'm like kind of nervous. Let's see what she got. This is the bottom two tubs. Okay. Okay, oh gosh. One first. Have you checked their temperament yet? Uh, I picked them up, put them in the cage. All right, well, I guess I'll just take off this one first. Oh, <gasps> wow. Oh, wow. I don't know what I was 
expecting, but I think she is beautiful. She is stunning. Holy potato, she is beautiful. Hi, sweetheart. Are you a little scared? Huh? She's looking at me. I'm not sure. Have you held her yet? I pulled her out of the thing. Okay, well, I just was kind of checking her out. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and she got my just... sweater. <laughs> I'm like scared to let her down. Just set her down softly. Okay. She's okay. She's a little scared right now. I just now. wasn't expecting it. Well, you reached for the front of her face, and that's what. That was so dumb. Did not do. Yeah, don't do that. She's a little scared. She's like stiff as a board. I'm yep. So everyone, I just did my first really dumb thing. I put my hand in front of a. Um, snake that has no idea who I am. It luckily didn't hurt because she was just let go, kind of like. But it definitely scared me. I didn't even know she got me until I looked. <laughs> I was terrified. They move so fast. Don't do what I just did. I'm learning. Oops. <laughs> I survived my first snake bite. I'm kind of blown away because she bit me here and here. And so it's just really interesting that she opened her mouth that wide. <laughs> But I survived and I have a crazy feeling it's not gonna be the only snake bite I ever experienced. So, um, moving on to the second one. I'm not really too afraid of getting bit again because, well, I think I just handled it wrong. And so. This one's a little bit bigger. Ooh, whoa, she's dark. Mm -hmm. She's by far the darkest one we have right now. Oh my goodness, where's her face? That's the front of her neck right there. Okay. This is Conway. Hi. Welcome to our family. Please don't bite me. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm a little nervous. Don't, don't smell my fear. She's smelling my fear. <laughs> She's a big girl. She's totally checking me out. She feels really cool right now. Like super muscular. We're gonna have to name the other girl like Striker. <laughs> she like, uh, you guys didn't see it because we turned it off before you had a chance to see, but she continued striking <laughs> even after that whole experience. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, she, look at her tongue's gone. Like, that's good. Mm -hmm. Still a little nervous, but I can feel her body not tensing up so much. Overall, she's awesome. I cannot wait to see what she does. Um, I just want to see the baby so bad. I know. So, Gucci Life, this is for you. Uh, he asked if we could do a little tutorial of what we do at our house. So, um, we build these racks out of the melamine, and it's heavy as heck, but it's gonna work for now. Um, as you can see, we have multiple layers where we keep all our snakes. So the tubs are probably the most expensive part because they're $10 each, um, but that is for the larger tubs. So this probably is too large for freckles and definitely our smallest owl. Uh, it will work for now once we build our reptile room. We will have smaller tubs for the smaller snakes. Inside our rack, we have a little heating system. So we use the thermostat to regulate the temperature at around 90 degrees. And then we take the sensor to a piece of plastic and the piece of plastic is about as thick as the tub. And then we take the piece of plastic and we tape it to the heat tape. That way we know exactly what the temperature is. So you're probably wondering why there is a bunch of rats on this cage. <laughs> so um, I love to feed frozen thawed. Not only to me is it safer for the snake, but I don't feel as bad. Um, I, I have had snakes in the past that would not eat frozen thawed. Um, I have learned a lot about how to transition them over. Um, so I always make sure I thaw all the rats out in the room that the snakes are in and also near the cage. Um, after this, after they're, they're all the way thawed, what I'll do is I'll get a blow dryer and, I'll, and I'll, I blow dry the crud out of them, heat them up real good. And not only does it, does it heat them up, but it also gets the smell just buried in the room. So it gets the snakes worked up a bit. Um, 
I, I make sure I dim the lighting. I'll try to do that today. If not, I'll, I'll brighten it up to see if I can get them to eat for you guys. But it just seems they want to be hidden. They don't want to be, you know, disturbed by other animals, other people. Um, if you have a snake that's a picky eater, don't bring 50 people in there and look at them. And that's the end of vlog number three. It was an awesome day. I got bit by a snake. I have the evidence. Uh, it was scary and exciting and I don't think I'm gonna hold her anytime soon. I'll leave that to Jordan. He can get bit. Thanks. I will stand to the side. Uh, we will be doing another vlog here soon and it's gonna be about the reptile room and show you guys how far we've come. We're really excited about it. <laughs> So please like, subscribe. If you guys have any questions, if you guys have any feedback or any comments, please leave them down below. We'd love to take a look at them. We definitely read everything you guys have to say and tune in until next time.